Hey everyone, I'm going to get right into the reading. Whatever the cards want to say, please keep in mind that I do channel multiple energy groups on here. So some of these readings will resonate, some of them will be your energy group, and some of them won't be. So don't try to force it to fit if it's not resonating. What's the message for someone? The Hanged Man. The Knight of Wands. Let me move this, actually. The Hanged Man. The Knight of Wands. The Fool. The Judgment. Four of Cups. Page of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. Four of Swords. Eight of Swords. Ten of Cups. Interesting. Okay. I feel like... With the Hanged Man, I feel like someone has a new perspective here. I feel like they're afraid of rejection, though. I almost feel like this person might have found something out. It's like they discovered something. This could be something you posted, something you said, something a friend said to them. Um, I feel like something shifted their perspective here. Tell me who this person is. Temperance. The Magician. The Empress. Death. Okay. I keep looking at the Temperance card of the Magician and I almost feel like Temperance is about balance. It's about balance. It's about healing. Um... I think in this context, sometimes it can be taking things slow. It's like they're trying to balance everything out. They're trying to to calm their emotions. I think this is the energy this person's coming out of. I almost feel like they're getting bored with the temperance energy. Because the, the energy I'm getting off these cards is this is someone who's coming out of temperance energy. This is someone who's coming into a knight of wands, magician type energy. Very uh, passionate, very uh, emotional. So in the past, I think they were more logical, they were more balanced, they were really trying to ground themselves, they were trying to figure things out, and I feel like something has shifted where this person is, is really starting to get in tune with their passions more, they're getting in tune with their emotional side more. Um, I think they're stepping into the role of the magician, manifesting what they want. They might be trying to manifest you right now. I feel like this is someone who's very connected to their their sensual desires to, to nature, to, um, just very, in a very passionate energy right now, or they're coming into a very passionate energy right now. I feel like they also see that you're going through some kind of transformation. And I think that they want to catch up to you. It's like they're rushing in They're They're not wanting to play it cool anymore. They're wanting to come in with this knight of wands, magician type energy to match your energy and go through this transformation with you. They don't want to get left behind. This energy I'm getting, though, is that they're really feeling afraid of you rejecting them. Because I'm looking at the fool. It's like they're charging in with this knight of wands with the fool. But then it's like there's there's this little bit of hesitation because there's the judgment card here and there's the four of cups. Four of cups is rejection. And you see this person is like looking at these three other cups. They're they're not looking at this cup anymore. So I feel like this person could be worried that you have other options or that you're more focused on yourself now. You're not, you know, at one point you really wanted this cup more than anything. And, and now you're looking at these other cups. But that might not necessarily be the case. It, you might not, you might actually still be focused on this cup, but this is their perspective. This is what they're worried about. I'll get more into how you're feeling in a minute. Um, and take it as it resonates. This could be you. This could be the other person, you know, however the roles fit if this is your energy group. But I just get the sense that they're, this person's worried about rejection. They're worried they're going to be judged for something here. It's like they're wanting to come in with the Page of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. They're wanting to give you some kind of emotional offer, possibly even a gift. They're wanting to give you something in the physical world, something you can see, touch, feel. Now, this could be an offer to go on a date. This could be flowers. This could be some kind of present. Um, I think that they're just worried that you're going to hesitate. It's like 
they feel like there's this Ten of Cups potential between the two of you, but they're worried that you're going to hesitate. Four of Swords is going inward. It's it's meditation, soul searching, looking for the answers, taking some time out. And I think they're worried that this gesture is not going to be enough. They're worried. They're really just worried about being judged for something here. Um, they're worried this gesture isn't going to be enough. They're worried if, if they present this offer that you might contemplate the offer, you might consider going out, out with them, but they're worried that you're going to come to the conclusion that, you know, this is eight of swords energy. They're worried you're going to step back and think about it and meditate on it. And you're going to be stuck in eight of swords in kind of, um, almost like this victim mentality or possibly thinking about things that they've done in the past or not wanting to forgive them. Um, you see how she, he or she has a blindfold on and they're tied up. It's like they're they're just kind of worried that you're going to be stuck in this Eight of Swords energy. Um, unwilling to get past those swords. It's almost like they're seeing, from their perspective, they're like, hey, we could have the Ten of Cups, but they don't think that you see that anymore. They think that you're stuck in your head now. They think that you're fearful and guarded now. And they're the ones now that are seeing the Ten of Cups potential with you, the, you know, true love, happily ever after, all of that. But they're feeling like you probably don't see it now and they want to show you. Um, how are you feeling about them? So this is their perspective. This is what they're afraid of. They're, they're afraid of you hesitating. They're afraid. It's kind of like they want to come test the waters with you, but they don't. It's like they don't want to do too much, but they also don't want to do too little because they feel like if they do too little, you might not even like if they if they only give you an ace of pentacles, they're kind of worried, like I said, that you're going to meditate on it and just decide that, you know, just kind of be stuck in this victim mentality and, and not see the ten of cups that's in front of you. Um, how do you feel about them? So that's their perspective. But how do you actually feel about them in this connection? And then we're going to get into what changed their perspective. Justice, Wheel of Fortune, The Lovers. Lots of major arcana cards. King of Swords. Six of Swords. Page of Swords. Hmm. I feel like you do still have feelings for this person, but you're, it's like you're not really trusting them anymore. It's almost like you're unsure of where to go next. Um, let's see, Justice, Wheel of Fortune, The Lovers. I almost feel like you're just in this ultimatum energy where you're kind of like, like either you can choose me here, or you can learn your karmic lessons, you can wrap these cycles up, the, there can be justice, there can be balance in this connection finally, there can be mutual effort, there can be mutual justice in this connection, you can make this decision. The lovers is, you know, these are all three major arcana, so this is major life changes. So I think you just want to see some actual changes from this person. Um, you want to see actual effort from this person. You want to see this person choose you. And I think you're at a point where you're like, okay, this person's either going to choose me or they're going to choose to be the king of swords, to be guarded, to be cold, to be distant. And if that's the case, then I'm going down a separate path. I'm not going to stick around for someone who's choosing to be in the king of swords energy. I'm not going to stick around for someone who is cold and guarded and distant from me. I'm not going to stick around for someone who's, you know, consciously deciding to um, shut me out. It's like, I think that's your perspective. You're just kind of in this ultimatum energy. Like either you step up now and you really make an effort. You show me some major changes. You bring justice in. You, you know, do things differently now. Um or I have to move forward, or I have to move, you know, I have to stop entertaining this King of Swords energy, and I have to to get myself out of this situation. Um, 
I think you're almost in this energy of matching the other person's energy as well. I think you're almost in this energy of like, okay, if they're going to be the king of swords, I'll be the queen of swords. If they want to be the king of cups, I'll be the queen of cups. I'll, I'll match their energy. If they want to be cold and distant, I will be cold and distant in response to them. Um, so I think that you do still have feelings for this person because it, it seems like this person's very afraid of rejection. They're very afraid of being judged. Um, but I, I do think that you still have feelings for this person. I do think there's still an interest there, but sorry about that. I got distracted by vehicles outside, but, um, yeah, it, it's like, you're just, I don't feel like you're really waiting around anymore. You know, the feelings are still mutual between the two of you. The interest is still, <clears throat> is still mutual between the two of you. But you're... <clears throat> oh, sorry. The interest is still mutual. But but like I said, it's like you're just in this energy of there has to be changes made now. I need to see those changes in the physical. I need to see effort from this person. I need to see this person communicate and pursue me and really you know, make some sort of effort towards me. Um, and if this person is unwilling to make that effort towards me, if they're deciding on, on remaining in this King of Swords energy, being cold and guarded, then I am going to be cold and guarded in response. And I'm going to move things from rough waters to calmer waters. And I'm go going to open myself up to other people or other situations that, um, you know, actually make me feel wanted or make me feel loved, you know, people that are willing to put the effort in people that are willing to, sh to give me that, that mutual respect, that mutual attention, mutual interest. Um, so, I mean, I think their fears have, have a little bit of a base, but it does look like they do still have a chance with you if they come forward ASAP and they come forward, you know, correctly, actually making an effort to communicate and making an effort to, get on the same page with you and, and fix things and start taking those steps forward together, um, being open and honest with each other. So, so yeah, I think that they're seeing that your energy is a little bit harsher than it was before. Um, like I said, I don't feel like you're going to reject them. I think, th I think that that fear of rejection is just their Oh, <coughs> oh my gosh. Sorry. Could be throat chakra blocks on someone's end as well. I feel like that fear of rejection is is just on their end, basically. I mean, it's not completely unfounded, but like I said, I, th I think it's more just them realizing you're in that. It's it's kind of like they can psychically, energetically sense that your your body language is different, or maybe the energy you're telepathically sending out is different. Um, cause like I said, I just get this like ultimatum energy. It's not the energy of rejection. You're just sending out this strong energy of you either step up and pursue me now and make an effort and fix things with me, or you're going to lose me. Like there, there's no limbo for you anymore. There's no in between. There's no, you know, breadcrumbing. It's, it's either you step up and we communicate now, or you're, you're going to, you're going to watch me walk out the door. You're going to lose me more and more each day. Um, you know, you got to make that choice. If you want me in your life, you need to do something now. So it's kind of like that fear of rejection is it's they're, they're misunderstanding your energy. They're basically misunderstanding your energy. They, they think that your energy is basically telling them to fuck off, we're done, you don't have a chance anymore. When what your energy is really saying is, hey, step up and match my energy and, you know, be with me. Like, let's, let's do this now. Let's talk now. Let's go on a date now. Let's, we need to do this now. I'm not waiting anymore. So it's like, you're open. You're still open to them. You still have love for this person. You still care about them. You still want to be with them. You're just not willing to wait for them anymore. You're not willing to play the games anymore. Um, so yeah, they're, they're really misunderstanding that ultimatum energy that you're giving off. They're misunderstanding that and thinking that you're just, you know, saying it's too late 
when you know what you're really saying is it's it's not too late now but it, it will be if you keep if you keep fucking around if you don't step up then eventually yeah it, might, it could be you know um i think you're losing faith in this person more and more each day so it's it's especially with all the major arcana cards like this is really that energy of you know if you want to do something you you need to do it as soon as possible you know if you want me in your life you need to show me that now um Are they going to realize that you aren't actually rejecting them? I think a lot of it is their own insecurities because they're seeing... See, this person This person is going to need to... Um, how do I explain this? So if you've communicated with this person in the past, they... They view that communication through the lens of their their own past traumas, abandonment issues, fears, um, people in the past that have rejected them. All of those things sort of cloud their perception. Because you could write them a letter or you could have like a face-to-face -face conversation with them and say, hey, I love you. I want to be with you. Let's work through this. I'm not willing to wait around anymore, though. Like, I really want to work through things with you. I want us to get on the same page and communicate and fix things together. Um, I really want that, like, honesty between us. Like, um, and they won't hear any of that. They won't hear the, they, you know, they won't hear where you said that you want to fix things or where you said that you want, um, to see a better side of them or where you told them how you feel like they won't they won't hear any of that they will just fixate on like the one or two sentences where you said hey I'm done if you don't get it together and they'll be like oh he or she rejected me you know what I mean it's like they're they're not they're not understanding you there there's miscommunication here they're not it's it's like I think if you guys are communicating it's like they're taking what you're saying as rejection even though you're not actually rejecting them you know, they're, it's, it's like they're, it's really weird because it's like you can tell them how you feel and it's almost like they just ignore that and they just focus on that, those one little, one or two sentences where you said something, um, where you gave them an ultimatum or you said like, you know, I'm, I'm moving on if you don't want to start treating me better. And it's like even... <laughs> Even that one sentence, they're still misunderstanding because they're probably just thinking like, oh, like she's moving on. OK, like she's done with me. And it's like they need to read the full sentence. They need to they need to really process what you're actually saying. Um, and I think, like I said, I think a lot of it is their own insecurities, because with the nine of pentacles and the ace of wands and the page of pentacles here, it's like they're seeing you as successful, single, abundant passionate ace of wands can be very phallic as well sometimes this is a sexual card and in this context i feel like they're they're basically feeling like everybody wants you or anyone like you could have anyone you want you're single and it makes them kind of jealous it makes them a little bit nervous so i mean that's going to be an issue until they really start learning to hear what people are actually saying and not just interpreting what they think someone is saying based on their own fears and insecurities. And I feel like, let me see, tell me more about that. Yeah, they're they're jealous they feel like you might have a secret they feel like you you're like you're hiding something with the moon it's almost like they see you as beautiful and abundant and you're focused on yourself you're single then it's like with the moon and the ace of swords the hermit reversed it's like they feel like you're not alone or they feel like you could have anyone you want
Hmm. Yeah, it, it's just a fear of rejection. It's a fear of rejection is what it comes down to. It's almost like this person has a fear of like life just wanting to fuck them over, basically. That's kind of what I'm feeling, too. I feel like it's almost like they're seeing you in this Nine of Pentacles energy, but there's afraid that there's like a secret that you're hiding or there's a, they're afraid almost that it's like a trap, that they're going to come towards you and they're going to get their heart broken. But I don't feel like that's the case. Again, it's like they're projecting their own fears and their own insecurities onto you. So they're not actually seeing things as they are. They're, they're seeing, it's like they're projecting that insecurity out there. And I feel like you could be putting the intention in of like, hey, like I have really have feelings for this person, but if they don't want to come forward, if they don't want to pursue me, then I don't want to wait anymore. I don't want to keep breaking my own heart. I want to open myself up to someone new if this person isn't doing anything. And I feel like this person, it's like they keep misinterpreting things. They might feel that energy coming off you where you're starting to be in the Nine of Pentacles energy. You're focusing on yourself more. You're, you're opening yourself up to other people, but I mean, you're probably opening yourself up to other people because you feel like this person doesn't want you. They, you feel like they don't have feelings for you. So you're like, okay, maybe I have to move on if they're, if they, if they don't want me. Um, cause it's almost like they're afraid that you're dating somebody new or that you're going to be dating somebody new. And it's like I said, I don't think that's the case. I think it's just that you're opening yourself up to new people if this person is unwilling to give you that attention themselves, if they're unwilling to step up and ask you on a date or communicate with you, then you're putting that intention in the, of, in, into the universe of, you know, I, I want to manifest someone new in that case. Like if you don't want to pursue me, if you don't want to be with me, then I want to be with someone who does actually want to be with me. Yeah, this person just needs to recognize that they do still have a chance with you, but but only if they come forward ASAP and come forward correctly. Um, I really feel like they're, like I said, it's like they're getting lost in their insecurities right now and they're misinterpreting things. They're mis Things that you've said or done or your body language, I feel like they're misinterpreting it. Um, let's see. What's this new perspective they had with the hanged man? Tell me about that. The hermit reversed the sun. The eight of pentacles. I feel like this person's actually becoming aware of their patterns of self-sabotage. It's almost like a false sun here because the sun is usually illumination, it's it's warmth, it's happiness, but it almost feels like a false sun. It almost feels like, it's like with the Eight of Pentacles, they've been putting all this hard work into the wrong things, the wrong situations, the wrong kind of people. And they're recognizing that they're the cause of their own heartbreak. They're recognizing, like if there was third parties, for example, they're seeing that that was an illusion. It's like they... they they're looking, they're being very introspective right now and they're looking at their patterns, they're looking at their behaviors and they're kind of thinking about it. They're like, wow, like I thought I was building something and all these false situations, all these toxic situations, toxic environments, toxic people. I was putting so much energy and effort thinking I was building something when in reality I was sabotaging myself. It was a subconscious process that was taking place where this person would invest all their time, energy, effort, possibly even money into situations that would ultimately just lead them to heartbreak. And if something or someone was good for them, they would sabotage it. They would run from it. They wouldn't give it any energy. They wouldn't give it any attention. But if something was bad for them, then they would focus on it. They would put all that effort into, you know, whatever it was that was going to almost confirm like their their subconscious biases it's like they put all that energy into this um it's almost like a defense mechanism 
but um but yeah i think they're recognizing that they've been the cause of their own heartbreak they're recognizing their own patterns of self-sabotage and they're recognizing that the choices that they've made in life are what has led them to be the king of swords to be cold and guarded and distrusting with people Eight of Swords is usually very quick movement, communication. Um, I see it in the reverse. I see it almost as like no communication, no movement, just stagnancy. And it's like Ten of Swords, um, just betrayal, heartbreaks, ending, having to walk away from something. Four of Cups, the Hanged Man. I feel like this could be them walking away from a third party, honestly. I'm trying not to do third party readings too much anymore because I swear that energy keeps coming up in all these fucking readings. I'm like, okay, we got to get another storyline. But um, they're walking away from the things that are no longer serving them. They're actually being very introspective. They're becoming very mindful of their patterns. So it's ultimately a good thing. And I think that new perspective that's coming in, it's like making them realize they do want to invest in you. They want to come in. They want to put all that passion and that energy and that effort into you, um, into something that's more solid, more stable. They want to be more mindful of their patterns. They want to make different choices in life. Let's see. It's like they're just they're afraid of rejection they're afraid of being judged tell me more about tell me let's get some more messages let's wrap it up here what else do we need to know about the storyline ten of swords queen of cups the moon seven of cups page of wands i'm sorry Knight of Swords, Eight of Wands reversed, Eight of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, Judgment. They're saying that you're not being the Queen of Cups anymore, but again, I think what they're not understanding is that you're not being in the Queen of Cups energy because they're not being in the King of Cups energy. Like I said, you're matching their energy. You're seeing them as more of a king of swords type. You're seeing them as someone who is cold and guarded. You're, the queen of cups is seeing this man as someone who's cold, guarded, distrusting, someone that doesn't want anything to do with her. So she's matching that energy. I mean, she's matching the energy in the sense of, you know, she's she's not trying. He's giving off the uh, inner, the, you know, that energy of, of not wanting to communicate. So she's not communicating either. Because he's not sure if, I feel like he knows that he let you down, that there was some kind of betrayal or backstabbing, some kind of heartbreak here or some kind of ending between the two of you. And he's not sure if you're just hiding the Queen of Cups side, like if you're just hiding your emotions from him now, um, which again, I think is the case. I think that you still are the Queen of Cups, but I think you're just not showing him that Queen of Cups side because... You know, you don't want to feel rejected anymore. You don't want to feel hurt by this man anymore. Um, you don't feel like he wants that Queen of Cups side, so you're not showing it to him. But he's not sure if you're hiding the Queen of Cups side or if the Queen of Cups side just isn't there and you feel nothing for him at this point. So he's confused about... He doesn't know where he stands with you. He doesn't know if you still have feelings for him or not. Um... He's not sure if that's still there deep down because on the surface level, you're not showing this Queen of Cups energy anymore. I think he wants to come forward quickly, but again, he's afraid that... He's afraid you're walking away. He also afra is afraid that he's going to put this effort... I think this this man has this, this mentality of... Um, if something's too good to be true, he sabotages it. And that's going to be an issue because... It's almost like he's afraid that you've already walked away and that if he puts all this effort and energy into fixing this, that you're just going to judge him anyway and just tell him to fuck off. And again, I don't think that's the case. I think that is his own fears and his own insecurities that he's going to need to work through. 
Um, and I want to say to like, please keep in mind that just in my opinion, if someone loves you or cares about you, they're especially a man like men are I think men you know not all men but a lot of men are like hunters they're I mean they they do the pursuing they make the effort so don't make excuses for a man that's not pursuing you like don't don't sit there and tell yourself he's just scared he's just guarded he's just this or that like you you shouldn't need to baby a full-grown man like that if this man is really that into you he's gonna push past that fear even if he's afraid of rejection, even if he doesn't know where he stands with you, if he really cares that much, he is going to dig deeper and he's going to find out where he stands with you. He's going to ask you. He's going to communicate with you. He's going to let you know how he feels sooner or later. Like, don't make excuses for an emotionally unavailable man. You will waste years of your life doing that. It's not worth it. Um, The men in this energy group do need to step up. They do need to get past that fear of rejection and male or female could be, could be female too. Just take it as it resonates. But whoever's in the masculine energy for this energy group, they, they do need to step up and just make that effort regardless of whether they're afraid or not. Like everyone's afraid. You know what I mean? Everyone's been heartbroken. Everyone's afraid. People decide who and what is worth it to them though. Okay, let's wrap this reading up. Is this man going to realize that... What, 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 actually, what, what, what's his next actions for this energy group? The men in this energy group, what are their next actions? The Fool, the Seven of Cups. King of Cups. Yeah, it's, it's almost like they're going through this transformation, but there's a small part of them that's still holding on to their comfort zone. It's like they want a new start and they want to be the king of cups again. They want to be, they're getting back in touch with their emotions, with their passionate side, but they're almost afraid. It's like seven of cups is illusion. It's choices. Um, I think they're almost afraid that that side of themselves is going to end up bringing them pain again. Justice. Yeah, but justice is on their side. I feel like. It's worth it to be who they truly are. I think they're going to ultimately recognize that. Yeah, Queen of Cups too. And I think that's also what's going, that's the only thing that's going to get you to display your Queen of Cups energy again. And I think that this person is going to recognize that. I think this person is going to finally start understanding that you've been matching and responding to their energy. You've been matching their energy. So when they're cold... You're cold. When they're not communicating, you're not communicating with them either. When they act uninterested, you act uninterested too. If they're distant, you act distant. And I think they're going to have some kind of epiphany about that. I think they're going to start coming to, to this conclusion and, and kind of recognizing how their energy is affecting you and affecting the connection. And I think they're going to start becoming aware that if they want you to be the queen of cups again, they have to come to you as the king of cups. They have to come to you in an open, emotionally available way. They have to come to you in an honest way. They have to, they have to come to you in a lighter energy, in a better energy. They have to come to you, you know, in a more open way, in a more flirty way or friendly way or whatever. It's like they have to come forward as the king of cups and... If this person is able to do that, if they are able to make that effort towards you, um, because that ball is in their court. So if they are able to come towards you in this King of Cups energy, there will be justice between the two of you. You will match their energy and you will be the Queen of Cups. You will be flirty in response to them being flirty. You'll be open in response to them being open. Um, when you see them trying to communicate in and trying to fix things, you're going to make the effort to communicate and fix things as well. You're going to match their energy in a really positive way. Um, and I think this person is, is going to recognize that, that it's, it's worth it to be this King of Cups and that that's the only way they're going to get you in this Queen of Cups energy is if they're willing to be the King of Cups. Because I almost feel like they might try to find other ways to manipulate it or to breadcrumb you or, you know, look for other ways to get you to be the queen of cups. And they're ultimately going to realize that that's not going to work. 
you're not going to, like I said, you're going to match their energy. You're only going to be in this energy if they're coming forward as the King of Cups. Um, like you're not going to be triggered in negative ways. Ten of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles. I keep getting third party energy. I'm trying not to, but it's, it is talking about someone leaving a third party behind. This could be you. This could be them, but somebody is leaving a third party behind. And this third party is going to try to come back with this page of cups energy. And, and someone's going to be like, no, this was a burden. 10 of, 10 of, 10 of wands. Like, nope. Like, mm -mm. this person's going to want to focus on their healing. So they might have to leave behind a third party before they can fully come to you. Um, or they might even be having an emotional conversation with you um, and then leaving the third party. Take it as it resonates. Okay, so final messages. Final messages. I kind of feel like it's almost their own karmic process. It's like their own internal process where they have to get through those fears and insecurities. They have to learn to understand what's really being communicated and not just what they think is being communicated. You know what I mean? Like, like I said, it's like they feel rejected even though you haven't rejected them. You might have given them an ultimatum, but you didn't reject them. You basically said like, hey, step up and let's fix this. Otherwise, I have to move on. If you don't want to fix this, if you don't want to be with me, that's your decision to make. That's painful. Um, I want to be with you, though. So, you know, make that choice. And if you don't want me, then then, yeah, of course, I'm going to move on because you're saying you don't want to be with me. So what else am I going to do? Um but it's like they, they need to understand that. They need to understand that they do still have a chance if they're willing to step up, that they have that choice to make. Um, but yeah, it's, it's like I think that they have to kind of sit with that. I think that they have to, I think this retrograde is going to kind of show them how to process their emotions in a better way and how to not project their own fears and insecurities onto what other people are trying to communicate to them. Like, I think they're going to develop a, a deeper understanding of, of what's being communicated, basically. Tell me more about that. Yeah, they're having to heal their rejection fears, their abandonment issues. Yeah, they're going to have they're going to have some sort of internal it's almost like this internal process is going to take place over retrograde that's going to give them these epiphanies, this new perspective that's going to make them want to come forward and see you as the empress. Moon. What's hidden is the Ten of Cups, is that there is still true love here. There is still mutual love here, even if neither of you are expressing it. Hmm. 
Interesting. Yeah, they're just, something's going to happen that just gives them, I don't know what it is. I guess it's going to be different for everyone, but something's going to give them this epiphany that you've been matching their energy, that you've been responding to their energy. I, I feel like they've almost been, for some they see you as very beautiful or they just feel like jealous. They feel like you could have anyone you want. For some of them, it's like they're going to recognize that they're, they're going to recognize that they shouldn't take that energy to be a rejection. You know what I mean? Like if you're, how do I explain this? Like your attractiveness is not a threat to them or your power or your confidence is not a threat to them. You know, um, it's like these things that they've been intimidated by. I think they're going to stop being so intimidated by them. They're going to start admiring this empress or emperor energy more instead of being so afraid of it. Um, and they're going to they're going to see it for what it is more too. It's it's almost like you being the empress makes them feel rejected. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's almost like you being that powerful or that confident makes them feel insecure, makes them feel rejected, and they're going to start looking at it from a different perspective where they're like, "Well, wait a minute, that person being in their power doesn't." Why am I so upset by that? That doesn't, they're not rejecting me just because they're in their power or they're not, their confidence isn't a threat to me. You know, like I can step up and I can be the emperor and match this energy. Um, so they're having this new perspective and they're, they're coming to this recognition that there is mutual feelings between the two of you. You know, you do want this person to treat you well and make these changes and step up and be with you. Um, you're just not willing to keep waiting around any longer. Tell me more about this. Yeah, I feel like you've also feel like you've been alone for too long and you're like, you know, you like you've meditated on it. You're like, I want justice. I want love, whether it's with this person or somebody else. Like I want my king of cups. You know, I want that person that's going to be emotionally open with me. Um, what is this? Three of swords, ace of swords, seven of swords. Hmm. I think this person's also going to realize that trying to be sneaky or breadcrumb or anything like that is just going to lead to heartbreak. Like it's not going to, yeah, it's not going to go anywhere if they try to play any games. You guys are both healing rejection and abandonment issues. I feel, hmm. okay, let's wrap this. I keep saying let's wrap it up and I keep pulling more and more cards. <laughs> okay, let's wrap it up for you all this time. More about the epiphanies this person's having. Yeah, just epiphany is that it's not going anywhere with a third party. It's just a lot of drama and conflict. They want that to be over with. They're ending it. They want a new start somewhere else. They want to go somewhere where they can be um, in a more... They can't be gentle with this third party. I feel like this third party is too toxic or too... Um, it's like they feel... Six of Cups is like nostalgia. It's... Um, childhood it's almost like they feel like they can't be that person with the third party they can't be vulnerable or open or innocent or childlike 
Like they feel like the third party brings out a very toxic side of them and they don't like that the person they are with a third party. That's that's one of the epiphanies they're coming to. Um Yeah, whatever it is, it's like something's going to give them this epiphany. I feel like they're going to test the waters with you. Yeah, this third party is getting rejected. That keeps wanting to come out. This third party is getting rejected. Whoever this Queen of Pentacles is. Could be a Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, possibly. Um, or someone with heavy Earth in her chart. But whoever she is, she's getting rejected. I almost feel like, I feel like some of these epiphanies could be coming because of um, like, okay, so I think that maybe this third party being removed is possibly what's going to help facilitate these epiphanies as well, because maybe the third party was kind of keeping them in this lower vibrational energy, kind of controlling them, kind of stressing them out, bringing out the worst side of them. And so, you know, since this third party was bringing out the worst side of them, I feel like it brought out all their insecurities and all their fears and all their traumas, um, and so I feel like when you communicate with this person, you know, like I said, if you're telling this person like, hey, I have feelings for you, but I'm not waiting around anymore. Like, we need to fix this. Like, you you need to do better. You need to treat me better if you want me in your life. Um, and that's your decision, decision to make. If you don't want to treat me better, then I need to move on. Um, and I feel like maybe in a normal state, they could understand that you're communicating that you're open to them, that you want to be with them, that you want to fix things. Um, but I think since the third party was maybe bringing out the worst of them, it was easy for them to get in this insecure mindset and kind of view what you were saying as you rejecting them, you know, not hearing what you're actually saying, but just focusing on that point where you said, Hey, I'm moving on if you don't want to be with me. Um, and not realizing, like you said, Hey, you have a choice. Like you can be with me now if you want to be with me. I didn't say you can't be with me anymore. I didn't say I want to move on. I said, I'm willing to move on. If you don't want to step up and communicate and work through things with me now, you know, so I think getting rid of that third party, it's like they're going to start seeing things more clearly because they don't have this dark cloud around them anymore. I swear, I always come on trying to do like 20 minute readings, 15 minute readings, and they always end up being so long. <laughs> okay, final messages for real. No more spreads after this. King of Swords. Knight of Swords, Ace of Swords, lots of swords here, okay. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune, Seven of Wands, This man's spirit guides are coming through quick with truth and clarity. They're bringing him the, the truth. They're basically telling him, hey, you can repeat karmic cycles. You can stay in this insecure mentality. You can misunderstand what people are saying. You can miscommunicate. You can stay in this lower vibrational energy or... You can wrap these karmic cycles up and you can stand your ground and step into your power and develop genuine confidence um, and really be true to yourself and be, you know, get out of this king of swords energy and be the king of cups that you really are deep down. Get back in touch with your true emotions, with your passion, with, you know, who you really are, um, being willing to be vulnerable and open and honest, being willing to communicate again. And if you do those things, if you are willing to be vulnerable and open and honest, um, I don't know why I'm seeing this scene from Once Upon a Time when it's it's like Pinocchio. It's like you can be a real boy again. It's like I don't know why I'm seeing that, but I got a visual of that. But it's kind of the energy I'm getting. Um, it's it's like I feel like this man's spirit guards are coming to him, and they're like, hey, like you have a choice to make here. 
You know, you want to repeat these karmic cycles. Do you want to stay in this lower vibrational karmic energy? Or do you want to stand your ground and be true to yourself and make these changes? Um, they're coming in quick, though. They're kind of like giving him this ultimatum kind of energy as well. Like, hey, it's now or never. You have to manifest. You have to step into your power. If you want this true love, this Ten of Cups, you have to step into the energy of the magician. The magician is someone, so the magician, the magician can be actual magic, but the magician is also someone who has all the tools that they need. You see this person has all the tools already there. They have all the tools that they need to manifest the life and the love that they want. They have all the tools they need to be the person they want to be, to manifest what they want to have out of life. Um, like, so I, I just feel like this person, it's like their spirit guides are communicating with them and helping them recognize that they are the magician, that they have the power, the ball is in their court. If they want this ten of cups with their true love, they it is up to them to end karmic cycles. It is up to them to communicate. It is up to them to, yeah, queen of cups. It, oh my God. Queen of cups and king of cups. It is. Like, wow. Um, it is up to them to bring this queen of cups side of this person out. I feel like they're going to be meditating on it for a while because they're going to have those fears and insecurities, but I feel like they're ultimately going to decide that they do want to heal things, that they want justice here. And they're going to recognize that they have the power to fix things with this Queen of Cups. They're going to recognize that they, they have the power to bring about justice here. They have the power to heal things in this connection and have this true love that they're wanting. I feel like these their spirit guides are just bringing them these epiphanies right now. So yeah, ultimately it's a good energy. Ultimately it does look like this person is going to be stepping up sooner or later. I think, like I said, I think they're going to start... I just get a sense of urgency, especially with the way their spirit guides are communicating with them right now. Like if you haven't personally given this person an ultimatum, I feel like your spirit guides are almost giving this person an ultimatum on your behalf. It's almost like your spirit guides are coming to this person and they're saying, hey, you're going to lose your true love if you don't step up. Like you, you need to make an effort. You need to communicate. You need to say something. You need to be the magician. You need to take action in the physical towards your true love, towards this person. You need to, even if it's just flirting or it's just being friendly and, and testing the waters and opening up conversation, their spirit guides are like, hey, you need to do something here. If you want this justice, if you want healing in this connection, if you want to fix this, you're, you're going to need to step up now. Um, so they're helping them kind of change their perspective and um, helping them recognize their own power, helping them take accountability, especially when it comes to this connection between the two of you. So, so yeah, it does look like there is still hope and still a chance at true love here between the two of you guys, if they listen to their intuition and their spirit guides, and if they, if they step into the magician energy, like their spirit guides are pushing them to do, then it does look like there is still hope here. <laughs> 